Uh, yeah, I see what you're saying there. I see what you're saying. No account, no console play? Mm. Oh, God. I mean, it, for online, yeah, but I can still... I, I can pop in my game and uh, play it without, you know, a connection necessarily. The problem there, though, is that all games rely on patches as well. So if you... Just say the PS3's life cycle comes to a close in a year, and they shut down the PS3 service in a year. We'll just pretend that's the case. And then say, Skeetle, he wants to go buy his first PS3. He's never played the PS3. He wants to get in on that action, and he buys a game like Dark Souls. Well, the online service is off, so he can't patch his game, but Dark Souls had a pretty bad flaw where there was a big delay in the attacks uh, pre patch And it actually kind of made the... the the experience pretty awkward to play and they patched it really quick it was one of those things where they just it was a bad uh, oversight the problem is that every game has this every game now has a day one patch but if there's no online service then you're getting a broken version of a game because they're too fucking lazy and they're too interested in short-term profit to spend the extra time needed to make sure their product is you know the best of its ability out of the gate, and uh, oh, I already lost Spark. Really? Except for us. Except for us. Okay. Um, I needed that attack. That's that's frustrating. Now I can't see. Oh, my vision is obscured as well. Okay, let's cheat this a little bit. Oh, I got a friend request. Thank you, Skeetle. Definitely had you. Steve, that's definitely the case for, um, for, uh, I can't think right now. I took sleeping pills like two hours ago, but then you guys are so awesome that I don't even want to leave. Uh, digital, yeah, you, you're buying the rights for digital, but the disc, I mean, at least for the PS4, I can do whatever I want with that disc, and it, it will function. As far as I know, this, this is news to me if this is the case. I gotta purge that motherfucker. I guess I just... Exactly. And that's the thing. You can go turn on your Atari 2600 and you're fine. Play any game that you've ever seen on that console. Go to a yard sale and buy 150 Atari games and you're fine. You won't be able to do that anymore. As with uh, the last generation, the 360 and the PS3's generation, and everything that's coming with the focus online, you're never gonna have that again, and that's sad. That's very sad. I apologize if I'm not talking to everyone, or responding to everyone's comments, this game is actually getting really hard, so I'm trying to focus so we can actually, you know, beat it. I like the stimulating conversation going on, you guys are all awesome. Oh god. Okay, this is a nightmare. And I lost my best- oh god damn it. My only means of trickery is lost. And evasion. Stop doing- okay, that guy needs to die. He's throwing too many things at me at once. And he can't die, he's protected. That's the problem. Beardy Capone, I like your name first of all. This game is called Transistor. It's made by the people who made Bastion, and it's quite excellent. However, I'm not doing it justice because as usual I suck. And I'm uh, consistently bad, not just occasionally. Dude bro needs to stop attacking me so much though. I don't think they could obscure the screen more than they're currently obscuring it. Just saying. Oh 
Christ's sake. I agree. Oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start this over, I think. This is just a little fight. It's really hard. I actually wanted to see that movie, but... I read a story about the director of that movie that made me really, really, like, sickened. So now I don't want to support his work. It's all, I mean, it's not confirmed at this point, and now I have no means of attacking. This is wonderful. But he is accused of raping boys a lot. And so, you know, rape is not cool, therefore I don't want to support an asshole director for his asshole movie. As have I. Excuse me. I've been on here since 2009, but I have given them thousands of dollars and thousands of hours of my time. You die. You die. Oh, this is... can't even break the cells open anymore, so I think I'm fucked. It is, it's really intense and I'm not focused enough to do it. Yeah, okay, we're gonna we're gonna just start this little fight over and I'm gonna focus. Moment of silence for we going offline. Oh yeah. The new X-Men? Is that is it out right now? Trap with limiters. Days of Future Past, it's out. Okay, I see my setup's good, my focus is not, so let's focus here. They really don't like water. Yeah, I, like I said, it's not proven at this point, but it's worrisome to me. Where are you? I actually Still just read there. a story about uh, some oh. NFL player, I think it was NFL, who was accused oh, of rape. Fuck. Uh, the woman said he raped, she was raped by him, and he got like five years in prison. She got a ton of money, blah blah blah, and then she just got caught saying that it was a lie. And so now she's caught, she was caught, and she has to pay like a, more than two million dollars or something to, you know, fix what she wronged. And so that could be the case with this guy, but there are pictures and everything, and it's... Where am I going? I don't even know where to go. Did I just come from here? Oh no, okay. Did I? No, this is where I got my ass handed to me. Okay. Soon everyone and everything. No, okay. Already back. I know, right, Skeet? I actually, uh... There's a, a writer, I can't even think of his fucking name. The guy who made Ender's Games. And, you know, he's a horrible anti-gay guy who just, like, funds the shit out of campaigns to get people who want gay marriage rights to not have them and stuff. So I won't buy his books new, but he's such a good writer. The books he's written that I'll buy them and read them, just not giving him money. You know? And I don't know if that's... I can't, okay, this is horrible. This is... Humanity just does suck. Everyone's fucking shit. Except you guys. You guys are cool. Ors Orson Scott Card? That's his name? 
Yeah, that's his name, I think. That's just for whatever it sounds foreign to me for some reason. <laughs> The way I could put this game to you that would make sense, I think. Oh god damn, it's first of all it's hard. Uh, second of all, it's if you combine Bastion's combat with Vats from Fallout 3 and then made it more tactical. And then of, of course a bunch of nuances that make this game very unique. That's just the very basic outline. Okay, it seems like I have to get these cheerleaders off my ass so that I can get rid of the cluckers because they're the ones doing all the AoE damage. But I can't attack, so that doesn't help. <laughs> no, no, that's bad. I hope that hits someone. I think it's a bit overboard here that you can't even see where you're targeting when this is literally like the hardest fight. This clucker needs to die really quick. Oh god. Oh, take care, Seedle. I understand. I appreciate all the awesome conversation we've had over the last two hours, I believe. It's great. I right, hope to see you back. Oh, God. Oh, no, this is... Yeah, we're back to square one where I have no means of attacking normally. Please die, Clucker. This is ridiculous. I would say uh, I haven't played the entirety of Bastion. What I did play I really liked. I think this game is equally as good, if not better. I think the combat, all the gameplay aspects of this game are better. But it, I guess it just depends on the kind of vibe you want. Like, Bastion had such a unique world. And now this game does, but it's more grounded in what we've seen before. You know, the whole sci-fi thing. But the story's really cool. Surprisingly. The soundtrack is done by the same person that does Bastion. Your sword is voiced by the person that narrates Bastion. So it's like, you, you got all the makings of what made Bastion awesome. It's just different. Awesome Diesel, I'll accept it once the stream's done because the menu system is convoluted as shit. I can't believe we did this with one attack left. I didn't expect this to work. Why is it not working though? Unbelievable. We actually did it. Thank you to all the followers. I appreciate this so much. And we will be doing a lot more content. Me and my friend stream, I, I assume, every Friday unless he sabotages that as well. I love him, but he's an asshole. So I've lost everything that made me an effective uh, attacker. That's not good. The channel used to be here. Don't even know anymore. 
I'm actually in the process of writing a review for this game. And I would definitely say it's... Uh, if, I have to, if I have to do a numeric score... I mean face to face. Based on the story, the gameplay, the music, the world, the characters. Um, just the overall design. Lasting appeal, replayability, price. I'd say it's like a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. Hand in hand. What do you think you're gonna find back here? Maybe you'd just like to hear me talk. Yeah, I, I, it's funny because I was actually trying to do exactly the opposite of that, Diesel. I wanted to uh, shut my mouth for the entirety of the gameplay so that you guys could hear the soundtrack and kind of get it more immersed, but I don't know how fun this game is to watch. Probably not very fun. So, and I'm liking the conversation. The punishment is actually really interesting, but I'll wait until this little scene thing's over. Where are we going to get our flatbread now? the sea monster. Oh, okay, well. So the way the death is handled in this game is every time you get your life drains, you lose one of your four abilities at the bottom there. Usually it goes from best to worst, so you lose your best ability off the, off the bat, then your second best and third best. And once you run out of all your attacks is when you officially lose and have to restart the battle. It's really interesting. That's not our bike. Oh, it is such a wonderful soundtrack. And this game actually has a brilliant soundtrack, too. If you like fashion, you will like this. We do have a podcast. Where we talk about bullshit for two hours, approximately. And that podcast is very fun to do. What is the straw poll, Ryan? Just curious. Can you tell me so I don't have to like actively pause the game to look? That's true, Steve. That's a good point. Wow, that did so much of my health in one fucking hit. Oh, don't you dare respond. Don't you fucking dare respond, you jerk. And I appreciate that, that's quite the compliment. Looked like a man. But you guys are all awesome, so it makes it really fun. Hey Red. Thanks for the lift. How's it looking, Ryan? said back there about wanting to see you again thank you nightbot for face all face. your help i want you to know i meant it I'll, every time we do the the vertical scenes or like the 2d scenes like that with the motorcycle reminds me of akira which is an awesome movie I think they're, do they're doing a live-action remake of that, right, Akira? If it's not already done? I'm hoping at least one of the 50-plus people on here understands what I'm talking about. Bike deserves some kind of reward. Not to get wiped out like all his bike friends. See you in the country, Mr. Bike. Oh, my beloved warp and trickery is back. I love it. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one, too. I like that. True that, it does. Okay, my circle attack is officially overpowered as fuck. Hopefully I don't lose it. Let's go to town. Yeah, I actually think the Shinra comparison's better. That's pretty accurate. I'm ashamed I didn't you think of that. First. That's why I have you right.